Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to make faceless YouTube videos with AI in a step-by-step -step fashion. This is the very quick introduction where I'm going to be using two AI tools for this. One's going to be Pictory and the other is going to be ChatGPT. ChatGPT, which as you probably know is free or there's obviously the option to upgrade if you want. And Pictory does come with a free trial. And of course, if you want to upgrade, I do have a coupon code for you where you can save a bunch of money. I will have the link down below where you can get your free trial for that. And of course, I'm going to have these separate sections where you can jump ahead to a specific point in this video if you want. Let's begin first with ChatGPT. So what we're going to be doing here is writing the script. This is a very easy template that I use very often, especially in my videos. And pretty much what you can do here is just get rid of this aspect and put in the title that you want to create for your YouTube video. Given the fact that I'm in Florida, when I'm not talking about internet marketing and YouTube and fun stuff like that, I like talking about golf in these videos because I used to play a ton, not so much recently. So this is going to be the three best golf tips for beginners. And in this, I said, make sure that this YouTube script or like with this YouTube script, I said, does it include names, host, or any transitions in the script? I put this in there because it makes it much easier for you to copy and paste once it's done. If every single paragraph starts with a transition or is like host starts saying, it gets annoying to kind of cut, copy and paste. So I'm going to keep that there. I also put ends with a call to action to click on the link in the description where they can sign up for my golf tips newsletter. This can be anything. Before you create your video, you want to ask yourself what's going to be the main point of this video overall. Do you want someone to comment? Do you want them to like? Do you want it to share it with someone? Do you want them to hop on a phone call? Do you want them to click a link? Maybe purchase a product, affiliate link, a webinar, whatever it's going to be. That's what you just want to put in the end. So if you just want to say, hey, feel free to subscribe for more, you can do that as well. Now, you can be a little bit more specific with this. So if you want to say like the first golf swing tip is going to be focus on your short game. The next one's going to be get lessons. You can really be specific about it, but I just want to be a little bit more broad for this example, just to see what chat GPT is going to give us. But if you need to be a little bit more precise, you can always put that in the section right here. Nevertheless, allow me to click on this little green arrow button. Once it's done loading, we'll get back to it and then we'll go from there. All right, so this is actually really good. It's nice and short. And normally when I do tutorial videos like this, I'm not gonna do a very long script because once you have an idea about how to do a very short video, doing a much longer video is gonna be the same process except you just add more. So I'm gonna copy all of this here. And since I'm using a PC here, I'm just gonna do control copy. So whatever is copy for you, you know, feel free to do that. So that's pretty much the chat GPT section. Very easy to do. Let's move on to the next section now. So the rest of it is we're gonna be using Pictory. Like I said, they do come with a free trial. So feel free to check them out in the link in the description. What we wanna do is do script to video. So let's click on proceed here. And what I want to do is just simply paste it in. I'm going to do control and B. So there's one thing you want to do here with like the re moving around. Normally what this is going to do, so we don't need the introduction, but the tips can be there. So this is just going to be the title. So I'm going to move this here. We just want to make this look a little bit better. So we don't want super long sentences. Usually what's, what's going to happen here is that every sentence is going to be one separate slide. So I'm going to go through and just hit enter after each of these sentences. And if they're too long, I'm just going to break them up and, you know, make them a little bit shorter. But I will be back once this is done. All right, great. And so as you can see, there's nothing that's going on like for very long. Some are a little bit longer, but I think that's fine. So we pretty much have one sentence per line. And just like that, we're going to be good to go. The script is done and let's click on proceed. There's one more little step here. Here, we're just going to be choosing a template. And in case you're new to Pictory, as I always say, don't worry about the images that are behind it. You're mostly just looking at the text here, the background color and what it's going to look like. Given the fact we're going to be doing golf, there's probably going to be a lot of green. So maybe something that would pop a little bit more, even like that, because there's green in back of it. That could also I mean, that doesn't look too bad, depending on what the background is. But I'm just going to go with this one. And given the fact that it's going to be a regular YouTube video here, I'm going to go with 16.9. So let's give it a second to load. And once it's done, we will get to the storyboard and I will show you how it's done. All right. So and just like that, what's going to happen is that every time we created a sentence, Pictory is going to go through and find an appropriate video background for it. And sometimes it might be a little bit different because it doesn't have enough keywords to look through. But the main part here is going to be going through and making sure like does what we're saying here match up with the background. So if we wanted to change anything here, we would simply click on it. I'm just going to put the again. Very easy to do. You click on that. Given the fact we wrote our script, which looked pretty solid. I don't think we're going to need to edit anything there. But in case you wanted to, that's how it's done. So the main bulk of the heavy lifting is going to be just like kind of looking through the slides and saying, do they match up? Looking to refine your skills. I mean, it's like, is someone playing golf? <laughs> so let's grab your, grab your clubs and let's get started. That's perfect. So 
grip and stand. So this is an example. These keywords here, there's not a whole lot going on there. Like it would have to say like golf grip and golf stands for it to be a little bit better. No problem. Let's change that. So what we can do is go here and just do like golf grip. So like someone gripping a club, is it going to be good here or maybe just standing? So let's see. How about golf club? Because when you have a golf club, there's usually going to be someone holding it. Let's see, is there like a close up? Kind of like that, right? So that is actually the grip and the stance. How's the swing? Uh, pretty good. So all we have to do is click on the video and it's gonna simply replace it, which is perfect. So let's go to the next one. Okay, with the proper grip and stance, perfect. Okay, once again, so during your swing. So this is a perfect example of sometimes people say, well, Pictory, get some random stuff. Not really, given the fact that they're not holding on too tight. They have a natural wrist hinge, maybe, but during the swing. So golf swing. There we go. Let's just someone swinging the club is going to be perfect. How does the actual swing look, though? I don't know if I want to wait too long. Okay, that's fine. Uh, not putting. Okay, not bad. We'll go with that one. And scene seven. So golf stance. Actually, this one right here. Perfect. Position your feet shoulder width apart and align them parallel to your target. Exactly what they're doing. Great. Let's move to eight. So this one, okay, a slight bend in your knee. As you can see, that person is literally bending their knee. So this person has a slight bend in the knee. This person kind of has a slight bend in the knee. We can go with that one. Okay, the solid foundational pride civility throughout your golf swing. Once again, we have golf swing, so we can just look for something that looks good. Okay, focus on alignment. So once again, I think that we can keep this one and just look for someone's like feet being aligned. Sure. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker, so accurate shots. Once again, golf swing is gonna be like a very common theme here, obviously, so. We'll go hitting out of the kitty litter is what I like to call it. The sandbox, the sand trap. Sure. Okay. How about golf ball? I'm not sure if they're going to like show one flying through the air. That's probably kind of hard to get a video for, but, or maybe I was wrong. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Line your hips. Okay. So once again, let's do golf stance. Let's see, are you gonna actually swing? Not just lining it up. What is going on here? <laughs> Interesting video. This guy's getting out of the, the cat litter as well. I'm just gonna go with that one. We'll go, like I said, I'll go a little quicker. So this one's gonna be about master the short game. So golf, putt, there we go. So someone lining it up, that's fine. That'll work. Let's move to the next. So we have 16. Sure, they're putting on there. Let's see, practice golf chip. I don't think we've done many of those. Sure. And we have 18. <laughs> Let's do like golf buddies. There we go, two people. This one's going to be the fundamentals. Okay, remember practice makes perfect. That's perfect. They're at like the uh, driving range there. Um, good. About to put a shot in. Sign up for our Golf Tips newsletter and take your game to the next level. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the fairway. Okay. And she's like, why is this guy smoking on the course? But <laughs> nevertheless, like I said, that was very quick. So there's a few other things that you can do. This is like kind of like the little extras in case you want to add them. There's emojis, there's gifts, there's stickers. Me personally, I'm not huge on them, but this one is kind of cute. And if you had a cat video, I would probably put it in there. But nevertheless, let's just search for golf in case, you know, there was something maybe I wanted to use, you know, are you too good for your home? That's hilarious. That's, uh, um, I was about to say, uh, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. That's the other movie. But on the other hand, we do have audio. So unfortunately, I'm on a computer where I can hear audio and you can't for some odd reason. But if you want to apply it, you can obviously listen to it and apply it to all of this. There's also going to be voiceover. So it's even more AI in this scenario. So once again, you can't hear it. But what you can do is you can test it and you can apply it to all of the slides if you want to do that. Plus, there is the option for you narrating as well, which is something I like to do because it's, it's, it's very easy for me, right? So in case you wanted to do that, what you can do is click on your specific scene. You can hover over the record voiceover and click it there. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to hit record, you're going to say what's here, and then hit stop. So I'll show you how it's done. Welcome to today's video where we're diving into the world of golf and sharing three essential tips that every beginner should know. And once we're done, we just hit apply. So what's going to happen once it loads, it's going to show on scene number one. Okay, then you would go to scene two, and you can just voice over and keep doing the same thing over and over, which I think you get the idea. Or if you just wanna like do it really quickly, pick an AI voice, do apply to all, and you're gonna be good to go. It's a very quick process, of course. If you want to add some more text, you can do that here with headings, subheadings, and body text. You know, hello there, something like that. You can move it around. In case you wanted to add some more, right? That's up to you, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna delete that. We have styles which I don't usually mess around with. This is just going to be the template that we originally picked. I think it looks great. Green matches the golf vibe with a lot of the golf courses, and that's going to be that. Branding, in case you want to add some intro and outro scenes, which I personally don't like doing. I like getting straight to the point, so I feel like a really long intro, aside from any other intro, is only going to take up more time. But there is going to be the option in case you want to watermark your video. You can upload your logo and pretty much put in any of the spots that are going to be like the center, upper center, left, right, bottom, whatever it's going to be, right? And of course, last but not least, most importantly, when you're on format, make sure you are on 1080. So when you go to download it, which is going to be here, I'm not going to do it. But when you do it, it's going to be in much higher quality because 1080 is much better than 720. Nevertheless, that is the very quick tutorial about how to make faceless YouTube videos with AI step by step. I hope that helps you out. Like I said, you don't need to show your face here because AI is going to be doing all of the heavy lifting. And of course, what you can use is utilize the visual elements for your backgrounds. Sometimes they're going to be a little bit different. Sometimes you need to switch them up. But one little tip here I do want to give you, for example, example, when we have our story, you'll notice that some of the ones where they weren't as great, like this one right here, scene six, this was the one where someone was on a swing. So it says like swing here, natural wrist hinge and like, but not too tight. That could be a scene of someone swinging on a swing. So I don't blame it here, but the tip for you is going to be, if you add more targeted keywords, which I guess is what I'm trying to say. So like so for example, it says, make sure your grip is firm, but not too tight on the golf club, allowing for a natural wrist hinge during your golf swing. And of course, a better shot. If you use more keywords like that, it's going to be easier for Pictory to pick it up. So if you're not using AI, or if you are using AI, you can always sprinkle in some better keywords like with golf. You're going to add a lot more golf in this. You're just going to overall get many better videos. But nevertheless, even when you have one that's different, it doesn't take very long to change it around. You search for your keyword, you find the video that you like, you click it once, and then of course it appears right here. So that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to try out Pictory, they do come with a free trial using my link down below. And if you want to purchase them with an upgrade, you get a very nice coupon code for a good discount. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video.